Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-May general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and hope that you all are doing well. So Capricorn, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Mary Jane by Boosty Collins. I will leave a link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. Now, immediately I heard that someone could be, you could be dealing with someone who has some very, uh, they have some vices that could be very costly, not only just financially, but how they affect the household, Okay. The song Mary Jane is not, he wasn't singing about a woman. He was literally singing about weed, okay? Like, so some of you all, your person can have like alcohol or actual weed addiction. And if not a addiction, it could be their vice, but it could be expensive and it could be affecting the household. Also, it could be one of those things where they can't function properly without it. And so you may feel like you don't even know who this person is. Again, this could be your person or you. You would know how to supply us to your situation, okay? I'm going to shuffle a couple times, so I'm just being guided to. I want to see what signs, because I didn't get any signs initially, like I typically do. And I want to see what signs um, are resonating with this energy right now, okay? So I'm going to do three. One, two, three. So you have Leo, Sag, Aries, um, Taurus, Real Capricorn, like yourself. And then again, another... Um, Towards real Capricorn energy here. Yeah, see, and I'm telling you right now, somebody could be spending big money and it's like a loss. Look at that. You have pinnacles over her head, but there's none in that basket. And it's like, I always tell you guys, whenever you have hoods, face shields, masks, it's like something hidden. Somebody could be spending more money than you're aware of. Yep, because you see how he's holding this pinnacle and there's two over his head and she's holding a basket that's empty and there's pinnacles over her head like... Somebody is going overboard with spending, but you may not know about it until you check the account or something like that. I'm getting that. You and your person's first, middle, last initial could be C, G, M, W, T, H, also N. First, middle, last initial for you or your love interest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I feel like somebody has some vices or some habits. I feel like also someone else may know about it, but they're not saying anything. You see how this dog is looking up. Also, if some of you all knew that this person was spending money on things, you didn't know how, I'm going to say again, you didn't know how much. You see how the dog is looking up at her adoringly? It's like you support this person because you felt like it was something that was going to kind of help them if they had bad nerves or something like that or anxiety disorder, something to that nature. And you were very supportive of it, but you didn't, you had no clue how much it was affecting the person or your, you guys account. I know it has to do with money because you have two cards here with pentacles. Okay. This could also be coming out into our season, which we are currently in, which is pentacles. Also, I'm just going to tuck these in here randomly. Okay. We're going to change the cards at the top and the bottom of the deck yet again. As always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So once I start shuffling, if we get reversals, I will read it as such. Now, currently at the bottom of the deck, you had a two. I'm telling you, some of you guys don't even know that this person is doing this. Two of swords, sword up, yes, sword down, no. Both of those swords are down and her eyes are covered. So you don't see what's going on. You don't even know that this is happening. I definitely feel like there's something hidden. You have this energy with the moon. The moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. Definitely, this is something that's happening possibly right up under your nose, but you had no clue how much or how deep this situation was, but I feel like some information is coming in, okay? You have the chariot here, major arcana relating to cancer. So for some of y'all, it could be involving a cancer. Your person could be a cancer or something that may have started since cancer season of last year, which is June, July, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to do a couple of shuffles until we get you guys major arcana, which is the devil. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, Okay. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone that you have history with. And remember I was saying cancer because we have the chariot. For some of you guys, it could be involving a June cancer. doesn't have to be. Just putting that out there. You also have one to two children with this person. You have two swords here and two children. So that may apply as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you guys Major Arcana again, the devil. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, you're finding something out. Okay. You may have... I just really keep getting that... 
some information is coming towards you. See how he has this book here. And books hold content information. You have one, two, three cups on the side. And then if you notice, there's one hand, you know, it's a cup being given to you. You may have kind of seen something, like I said, right up under your nose. And it's been going on for the past couple of months. But now it's like right in your face, like slap dab in your face to where you don't have a choice but to acknowledge you. You may feel betrayed like this person let you down also with the Ten of Swords. Gun stab in the back, yeah. I feel like this person is very charming, very charismatic. You may feel as though you are the one who is suffering the grunt of this situation with the Queen of Pentacles. Again, I'm going to say, I feel like something is happening in the tour season. You also have the um, Emperor, okay, showing it wants to show itself, Aries energy. You have a Queen, you have an Emperor, so you could be married or in a long-term relationship with this person. Again, look, and that was right in between it. So, yeah, I feel like for some of you all, especially the females out there, you may be finding out in tourist season and it's just kind of like, look at her face. <laughs> she It's like almost like she's pissed off and she's ready to read somebody their rights. But also, she could be wondering how she's going to confront this person. You could be feeling like that. Most definitely. And if you look at her face also, she just looks like she's fucking tired of the shit. Like, come on now. Again, you know, I'm getting one of those vibes also. Somebody who has a king tut, you know type of persona like larger than life in control but when all the burdens fall on you okay i'm just gonna be honest and say that so let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana again it is the the devil with the card that comes before and the card that comes after four capricorn sun moon rising and venus individuals okay so here's your card let's see so right in front of you you have yep the Eight of Swords, you feel like, you know, you're bound and stuck and you don't know what to say. You don't know how to move forward with this. Sort of, yes, sort of down. No. Again, she's blindfolded. You already had the Two of Swords where her eyes were covered and you have, she's blindfolded here. So it's like, you are trapped in a situation where you're trapped in your head about what to do, how to move forward. You feel like you may not have the best solution for this situation. And then right behind it, you have the King of Cups. I'm just, I'm going to be honest with you. With this combination, I feel like this is someone who is emotionally manipulative, okay? You have the Devil, that's a master manipulator. And then you have the King of Cups. Mm -mm. And then you have the Knight of Swords right here. Knight of Swords, all knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. I feel like some of you guys feel like, okay, to avoid it being conflict and a battle between me and my person, I'd rather just not say anything at all. Because again, the swords are down. But I, I really do feel like... Yeah, it's going to cause some type of conflict here. I'm going to be honest with you. I do feel like it's going to cause some type of conflict. Let's see what's at the bottom of this deck here. Yep. Somebody's definitely in their head about what to do. Okay. You're, you're feeling bound and trapped here in your head. And then you got the seven of cups, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered, feeling overwhelmed emotionally. You may feel like you don't even know who the hell this person is. Okay. Because you see how you have that red caution there. Like, and I told you, I feel like this person is emotionally manipulative. For sure. I'm getting that there. Let's go ahead and part the deck. <laughs> you got a pair here so for some of you guys look at this and as soon as i pick up their backs are facing each other so you guys are not on the same page about this i definitely feel like you're finding something out now even if you found something out like i said with the eight of swords i feel like you may not be confronting this person just yet because you see how with this cup it has a lid on it so that means you're not releasing and speaking on it like you may want to okay but i do definitely feel as though you're finding something out, okay? You you are. You're finding something out here. And I know you are because as I pick this up so I can show it to you again, I didn't see the card up under it, but you got the hermit. Some of you guys could be done with a Virgo, but more than anything, this is finding something out. And it's like right up under your nose, like I said, this, this snake. I want you to notice this. You got a snake here. Look at this deck. Right here behind him or behind this person is another snake. So it's like, you know how the saying is, like when your parents tell you to go find something and you say, I can't find it, and they come in your room and immediately find it, and they, and they tell you like, well, if it was a snake, it would have bit you. It's like it's right here in your face, under your nose. For some of y'all, you're not gonna like to hear this, but I'm gonna be real with you. For some of y'all, you're choosing not to see it. Cause I always say with this card, yes, she has these chains on her wrist, but look how loose they are. She can actually, even here, lift her arms up, push those blindfolds off. There's nothing bolting her legs to the ground so she can actually stand up. She can slap those damn chains off if she wants to, but that's choosing to be in prison. So for some of y'all, you're choosing not to see this for what it is because you don't want drama. 
I'm telling you, I'm, I'm hearing this again. If it was a snake, it would have bit you. It was right in your face for a lot of you all. No one likes to hear that because you don't want to feel like you're being naive or things like that. But I, I'm telling you right now, some of you all are definitely dealing with someone who is emotionally manipulative. To, for this to come up right next to the devil, mm -mm, that's somebody being emotionally manipulative. And I know this is your major arcana, but I'm just telling you just that combination. Let's get a clarifier for the Eight of Swords. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Some of you guys can feel like I'm tired of fighting and I don't want to fight. Because he's already wounded. But something's coming in. Again, I'm going to say, this second time we got the Chariot. Now, if you notice, the Chariot is moving away from the home. So for some of you all, you could, I'm going to say again, you're tired of fighting. You're like, I'm done. I want to leave. Definitely could be dealing with a cancer here for some of you all. Someone with strong cancer in their chart. Okay, one more shuffle. Yep, you don't want conflict. Okay, sword up, yes, sword down, no. But here's the thing with the king of swords, every king or queen in reverse is negative because this person has been dethroned, stripped of their title, or they're abusing their power because kings and queens hold positions of hierarchy and power. And having it in reverse, it's like you don't want to fight with this person. You don't want drama. And this is why she's keeping how she feels to herself. She's keeping her words to herself. He or she put it up how it applies. Five of Pentacles lack loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. Going back to lack and loss, I feel like this this situation, like I said at the very beginning, is causing a type of lack. Okay? Like it's really it's it's affecting things on a financial level. Okay. Let's get ooh, okay. <laughs> you had two flip out, but they flipped down, but let's look at them. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's emotionally manipulative here. Okay. You got the magician, Virgo, Gemini, and then you also have the six of swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah. This person is leading you guys in the wrong direction for some of you all. I'm just going to put that out here. Especially if this is the head of the household. Let's get a clarify for the Eight of Swords. Okay. You got it again. Seven of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups and then the Two of Swords. Remember, we started off in the first deck with the Two of Swords upright. Again, I'm going to say Sword down, no. Sword up, yes. And it's like you guys don't want drama. You don't want conflict. You don't want to, you, it's like you feel lost. You don't know which direction to go in when it comes to the situation, okay? Because it just feels like everything's up in the air. It really does feel like everything's up in the air. She's floating in the cloud in the air, and then these are floating, these cups are floating in the clouds in the air. It feels like things are up in the air. It's a lot of indecision. It's a lot going on. You may even feel as though there's more things going on that you don't know about. But I'm going to say again, she can take that shit off. You know, I'm, I'm just going to be real. She can take those blindfolds off. She can literally, literally look at this. She can slide those off her wrist. They're not tight at all. So, this is somebody overlooking or you're dealing with someone who's so charismatic that it seems like they have control. Because, again, this is a king, someone who's in control in a position of power. Seem like they have control over things, but you're realizing that they don't have control at all. Because upright, whatever's in those old, in those cups is in the cups. Okay, it's safe and secure. In reverse, they're spilling out. You know, bottom of the deck, tower in reverse, and then you have the high priestess. You need to trust your intuition about this. Okay, your intuition is trying to warn you. You got two major arcanas. So the tower in reverse, Aries, Scorpio energy. Again, I'm gonna say for some of you all, you're trying to avoid the tower moment. You're you're just keeping the peace. That's what I'm getting. That's how I, you know. Somebody's trying to keep the peace. Let's get a clarifier for the King of Cups, for Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus. I almost said Scorpio. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with Scorpio. Something that may have started in, in Scorpio season, October, November of last year. Okay. Yep. And remember, I know this is this is like on point because we've had the um, Queen of Pentacles how many times? Again, the Queen of Pentacles predominantly relates to the energy of Taurus. So I feel like in Taurus season, some shit may hit the fan, okay? You got a king, you got a queen. Whenever you have one of these, a king or a queen, they don't have to be the same element. Whenever you have a king and a queen together and one of them is in reverse, somebody is contemplating a divorce or leaving this union. Possibly the female figure in a situation, okay? If you are a male and you're dealing with two males, whoever has the more feminine energy, just put it where it applies. But whatever the case, I'm telling you right now, somebody's contemplating leaving a situation because they're like, we're losing money. We're, there's some type of loss of stability because Pentacles is also stability. Foundation doesn't feel very solid because if you're upside down, your feet are not on the ground. So things don't feel very solid. 
somebody's definitely going to be in their feelings and, and emotions very big, big time. And I want you to see both of your clarifiers are in reverse. And her back is facing the Seven of Cups. Some of you guys are like, I'm done with being confused with this situation or stressed out because that is your emotions. But now you have to find a way to regain some type of balance or structure. Now, again, this is traditionally Taurus, but it also could be, because it's minor, it's not major arcana, it also could be your energy also because that is Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn like you. It, it, it definitely feels like somebody is like not feeling this situation at all. Ready to leave a situation or just like completely disenchanted with how things are being played out. I just really want you guys to see these energies here. You know what I mean? Somebody being emotionally manipulative and you may be emotionally, if this is you, this is happening to, you may be emotionally manipulative yourself in your own way, manipulating how you feel about the situation. And again, I know a lot of people are not going to like this, but it's, we're going to be real with ourselves, right? You may not like it. Because again, she's not that is like bolting her or keeping her there. And even there's even gaps in between these swords where she can squeeze her way through. She there's no need to be there. She's just choosing not to see it. Cause this is look and it's like something is being shown to you because you see how the blindfold has like this little shine, a little gleam. That's like angelic spirit energy. It's like intuitively you know. Your intuition is telling you something is off, but you're choosing not to see it or you did in the past but i feel like that's going to be a, a very big focal point in tour season which again we are currently in okay so capricorn sun moon rising and venus individuals as always i'm going to ask that you continue to like share and subscribe and it's the next time take care bye